Hi there. Let's talk about bugs. So, I live in the deep woods. I live in these woods. The deep woods in North Georgia. And the bugs live here, okay? It's their home, okay? I moved into their home. And as a consequence, they like to move into my home because it's their home. And it happens, you know. So, it was quarter to five. 4.45 in the morning, okay, and I'm old, okay, my my back hurts, my joints hurt, and my knees hurt, and, you know, just things hurt, and I have trouble getting out of bed every morning, you gotta uh, get up and you groan, and, but this morning, at quarter to five, I was sleeping soundly, just nice, and I felt something, you know, do this, and and you're sleeping, you go, hair, get the hair out of my face. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I don't I don't have hair that reaches that spot. And suddenly you realize what it was. <laughs> okay. Now, I know God can work miracles, and he works miracles all the time, but this bug worked a miracle. I realized that it was a bug that had crawled across my face at 4.45 in the morning. I jumped out of bed like a six-year-old on Saturday. But I tell you what, nothing hurt. <laughs> it was great. I was out of bed real quick. And I grabbed my, and I reached over and grabbed my phone and turned the flashlight on. And I was looking, where is that bug? Where is that? I got to find that bug. And after five minutes, I couldn't find the bug. So I, went, I must have knocked it on the floor or something, you know. Good. So I put my phone back and lay back in bed. And I, uh, Quarter to five, maybe get another hour of sleep. So I was just about dozing off. And then I hear my wife laying next to me. Ah! I'm like, oh, that's the book. I'm like, oh, she found it. So uh, the next, <laughs> and she doesn't mess around, okay? She's like, it's like, Alexa, turn on the lights. And boom, the lights come on. And I'm like, hi, honey. <laughs> We gotta find that bug. So I started looking again, and I found it between the mattresses. It had tucked itself down in there after my wife did one of this, felt it on her arm, <laughs> and and she didn't have a backache either. She jumped right up like a six-year-old on Saturday. Well, I found it, and I got a tissue, and I and I grabbed it with the tissue, and uh, and you're squeezing it. <laughs> And you make sure it's squeezed good, and then you walk into the bathroom and you throw the whole thing in the toilet and you flush it. Bye, bug. Well, you know, I'm awake now, so it's five o'clock and good morning, and I got out of bed without anything hurting. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that again. Okay? Freak you out. But the thing you got to realize is if you live here, they were here first. Okay, and it's their home. And if you put a house in the middle of their home, you're going to, hey, look, somebody built me a house. <laughs> Let's go check it out. <laughs> so they do. Okay. And you hire. Okay, you have your bug guy come around quarterly, and they spray the entire perimeter of the house and all the window openings and door openings and anywhere they can get in. And the way it works is when they cross that barrier of that stuff, they die. But... You know, 90% of the time they're dying in your house. So you find these bugs upside down. And we call them water bugs, you know, kind of just an American cockroach. They're about an inch long. And that's just one of the bugs, okay? You can't, you can't keep, I mean, you live in the woods and it's peaceful. And you don't have neighbors. And it's very serene. And you can watch the deer walking by. And, and we have coyotes and foxes and squirrels oh man do we have squirrels chipmunks and all the birds and the cardinals and the finches and the chickadees and stuff and i feed the chickadees and the birds and, and you can watch and i've seen turkeys and foxes and rabbits and the occasional feral cat okay but they live here okay and the trouble with this is some of these you have your barrier around and you have all your windows these bugs they climb the trees 
and they go over and they drop under your roof and they they get in through the upper parts and you can't really keep them out okay you can't keep the ants out okay the ants you know Proverbs said look at the ant they're always working and they're always storing and they're always food and be like the ants and yeah I get up and sometimes and I look go walk into my kitchen to make some coffee and I find out the ants have been working all night okay and they've got their lines and <sighs> but yeah if you're gonna live in the woods you got bugs you know and all kinds of bugs not just those inch long you know water bugs but you have spiders and lizards and I like lizards okay I don't like bugs. There's one bug I like. It's a dragonfly. Okay. Why do I like dragonflies? They eat bugs. Okay. And we have some of the most amazing breeds of spiders I have ever seen down here. Okay. I don't like spiders. Okay. But they're down here. And I, I was going to show a lot of pictures. But, and I post pictures of them on... I used to post pictures of them on Facebook just to freak out my friends. You know. And they're like, burn your house down. Okay. And I even found a snake in my house a couple of times, you know. Not poisonous. I mean, I would kill a poisonous snake. But if I find a, you know, they're usually king snakes, you know. And little corn snakes and rat snakes, you know, little guys. And you pick them up. You take them out and set them loose in the woods, you know. They're not hurting anything. You know, don't, you know I've never seen a poisonous snake. I'm sure they're out there, but I don't walk through my woods, okay. Because the woods is the bug's home, Okay. And you also have your hornets and your bees and your carpenter bees and bugs, and spiders, you know, all kinds of spiders, wolf spiders. You know, you find wolf spiders in the house there because they don't spin webs. They chase their prey. They hunt it down and kill it. They don't consider you prey, but they don't want you messing with them either. You know, most of these bugs just want you to leave them alone. You're, a, you're, a, you know, a hundred thousand times the size of they are. And the, and they don't want to pick a fight with you, but they will defend themselves. So, yeah, if you want spiders and snakes and woodland creatures and Bambi and, you know, i never seen any bears. And I heard there's feral pigs, but I haven't seen any pigs in my, on, on my, in my woods. But, yeah, bugs. If you don't want bugs, stay in the city. <laughs> Lesson for today.